Hi guys! Okay, as I promised, I am going to show you how to make my envelopes, um, but they're the envelopes which um, fold out, so um, which are really, really pretty. This one goes with my trifold embellishment pack, um, so I thought that was really, really nice. And this is the one that I uh, made earlier, uh, which is exactly the same, um, but are obviously just different decoration. So they are very, very simple, um, as you know I like to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. I've only got half an hour on my, my camera that records. So let's get started. Put those to the side. So what I've got is a piece of A4 paper, which is copy paper, which I've just tea stained. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I've just got some old book pages here, so you can use whatever you like um, to pop on there, but I've just got old book pages here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick them down with a little bit of um, glue stick, like so, so I'll just glue it all down, but do use whatever glue you want. Um, normally use or you find happiest using so let's just stick it all down okay, let's put this as level as possible so on these ones you can I do do some sewing on it um, but you don't have to oops so that's that stuck down and then what I'm going to do is just tear a little bit off here. We don't want to make it look too thick, but this does make it a little bit thicker and um, so it's not so flimsy. Um, so it's nice for the envelope to be a little bit thicker. So let's just glue this down. Oops. what I'm going to do is just pop a piece under here. You don't need to do this piece because it will be covered up with a pocket um, but um, it just sort of like reinforces the paper. So I'll just pop that on there. I like these sort of like edgy bits here. I think they look really nice. I'll pop that on so it sticks out a little bit at the bottom. Okay, let's glue that down. I'm pressing a bit too hard on my glue stick. So I'm coming off. Okay. You can use um, pattern paper if you like, if you don't want to use book pages. Um, whatever sort of thing, you can make it sort of modern. So you can have some nice bright colours on it. This one is going to be sort of like vintagey shabby, as I like to do. So that's that done. You can see here that we've got it stuck down at the back. So we will decorate this side later. So that's that done. So what we need to do now is make a couple of pockets. So on here, look. Let's just take this off. Open it up, I mean. So I've got two little pockets here. They go in there, and then I've got one here. So for you, look, you can just see it's just a piece of the, the book page which has been folded over. So pop that to the side. So just fold this over like that. And this is really nice. This book pages is really old, so it rips lovely. So if we put that down there, I might just tear it down there so it's the writing on the edge like that and then just a tiny bit along this bit feels very sort of soft the paper if you want it straight you can cut it but I like it quite sort of random so there we go that's that on there 
And then I do believe, let's have a look, I need another piece of this just to pop over the top look. I've just given it a lift just to reinforce it. So if you're putting things in and out, it's not going to rip. So I've just put a little bit of paper, tea stain paper on there. So what I need to do, let's just fold this over a little bit. Just trim it up. Going to do, I'm going to ink it so whoopsie lazy that's vintage photo that I'm going to be using. I've got some new ones coming, so these are a little bit um, worn out, should I say? So they do look a little bit lighter. But if you get the nice, new, juicy ones, uh, ink pads, then they are a little bit darker than this. Let me just add a bit of ink to these. Go. And then that just pops onto the edge like that. Sure, okay, dokie. Let's glue that down. Like this. I will be sewing this as well, so you don't have to put too much glue on it, which side is it? You can sew a bit of, um, or stick some lace or something along the top, you don't have to use paper. You just need something along the top just to sort of reinforce it a little bit. There we go. There's that one. So that's going to go at the bottom here, like so. So that's your little pocket there. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to fold it now because we need to know how wide to do the pocket. So let's have a look. This can go up a little bit higher. Like this here. Let's put it down. Pop that down here. That's it. And we've got our little envelope, look, it pulls down. So it's just the same as making a normal envelope, except for we're not going to sew the sides up. So this is how big, so this pocket will go there, and that's the top. So now I need to make a pocket to go on this piece. So let's have a look. Let's get another piece of book paper. Oops. So what I did, um, this book paper, I don't think I've got my tape measure here. I'm just going to see what length it is. Let's have a look. Oh, here we go. This is, sorry, it's in centimetres. It's 25 centimetres. Um, don't ask me what that is in inches. I don't know. 25 by 16. So all as I've done, all I'm going to do is fold it in half like that and then I'm going to fold it again I'm going to actually no, that's okay. fold it halfway up or three quarters of the way so then we've got two pockets then so if that goes on there like that we've got a pocket here and a pocket here so now I just need to trim the edges that so that's it needs to be just below um, the foldy bit because that's it will get stuck it sort of doesn't fold properly and then this piece is about there so there we go that fits in nicely like that and then we just need to pop on like we did on this one. 
Oopsie daisy. And that's just to edge it. So let's have a look. I'll do it this way. I should be able to do both at the same time. Just fold it over. Oops. Trim it down. I'm just going to ink up, obviously you just need to ink once, one side of it. Go, a little bit of this, a bit of colour on here. It's another good way of using up book pages. I'm sure we will have plenty. Right, so this piece can go edge there. So that's roughly this size. We just need two, don't we? And here, look. Perfect. And another way it will stop this flapping open because obviously it's a it's got the two pages. So what I am going to do is glue that down so it doesn't open out. Oops. Well, it's ripped there because these pages are quite fragile. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to sew that onto the onto the envelope anyway. Let's glue this down. There we go. One like that. Glue that down. Perfect. So there we go. Now we have two pockets. Oopsie daisy. Put those bits out of the way. You can put as many pockets in as you like. You can put um, one like this. You can make two of these. So you could have one there and then one there. So they just flip over. Um, so you can just mix and match however you like. But I thought I'd just put one that side and one that side. So you can put, what did I put in this one? So there's this one here, look. Or I'll just put some postcards fit nicely. And there's little, little journaling bits in there. So that's quite nice. This one's already made and it's beautiful. I've got one of the little flappy thingies that you have for the on the pages. So I thought that would look quite nice just to pop on the envelope to open it up okay so that's looking good and that's looking good so that goes on there I didn't on this one I didn't sew it on here because you can sew it along here if you like but I haven't sewn on this one I just stuck some some lovely paper this beautiful paper here it's, um, let's have a look. I've got all this lovely paper sent for me in my happy mail by Samantha. I'm going to put a link to her YouTube channel down. And she's got a lovely Instagram as well. So I'm going to pop her links down on there. So which one did I use? I don't know. It's disappeared. It's here somewhere. I think it's this one. Because I've opened it up. It's the brown one. I'm going to use this one again. But I'm going to use the green. And it's sort of like tissue paper. But it's sort of a little bit thicker. It says tissue paper on here. But it, maybe it's because I've been using napkins. It makes it feel like a little bit thicker. Because um, napkins are quite thin, aren't they? So this does feel like it won't rip as much. 
not so delicate. So this is the one that I used, which is lovely. So I think, let's have a look there, look. No, I wasn't going to use that. I was going to use a pinky one. Let me change my mind. Where is it? This one, not the pinky one, the floury one is what I was going to use. Which is beautiful, isn't it? Too many to choose from, I think. So I think that's a really, really lovely. So I'll keep that out because what I'm going to do now is ink the edges around here just to make it look a little bit um, vintagey. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to just sew it. So it took me two minutes to sew. Just add a little bit of ink around it. Okay. Oops, in daisy. Oops. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to sew along here. And then I'm going to pop that down and I'm going to sew here. Let's put these ones in. I'm going to sew down here and down here. And then I'm just going to go around the whole thing. Because we don't need anything else because then I can decorate this side. So I'll be back in two minutes. Okay, so I've just sewn this. So what I've done, I've just sewn across there. That was a dreadful bit of sewing. It's like the first time I've ever used a machine. It's all over the place. Never mind. Um, I've sewn this one on. <clears throat> so we've got two little pockets there, a little pocket there, and I've just gone round the outside. So there we go. So that's all done. So then it just folds up like that. So there we are. So now we are ready to decorate this side. So it looks really grubby already, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just distress it a little bit with the vintage photo ink like so just around the edges and then what I'm going to do I'll use a rubber stamp not a rubber stamp, a silicon stamp just to give a little bit of a pattern on the, on the um, paper but you can obviously use any stamp that you've got to do. And there we go. Let's just do the edges a little bit. There we go. nicely so this is the stamp I'm using that could use it I think I really need to clean it it's looking a bit grubby because it's got stays on I've got some stays on cleaner rubber stamp cleaner so I really really should take some time out and do it so it goes like this so I need to make sure it's sort of going the right way we we'll just do a few little random stamps on here Oops. don't need too many let me just do this and put the lid on lid on here look I leave them open that's probably why they dry up so quickly Okay, sorted. That's that done. Oops. Okay, lovely. 
So now I'm going to use this instead of you keep using napkin. So I think this is really, really lovely. It's quite big as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just quite easy to rip. So I'm just going to rip it down the side. Sorry, I keep knocking the camera. The tripod's right by my elbow. Let's give it a little bit this bit. A little bit more. And you can rip that off. So it's nice and, nice and rustly, isn't it? So that, I'm going to just pop. Oh, that was quite good. And I'm just going to stick that on there. So, here we go, back with the glue stick. So, that's quite nice like that. You can either glue onto here, or actually just glue straight onto here, because it's thick enough, you can actually glue it. It does wrinkle a little bit, but it's not too bad. Is just go down through the middle. Whoopsie daisy. Saying it doesn't rip. Look what I've done. I've just ripped it. Never mind. We can cover that bit up. It's just a little happy mistake. Happy accident, as we say. doesn't really notice anyway does it so that's not bad right let's have a little bit of the front tear a little bit off. Should really be doing this on a bit of paper because I'm going to get all sticky. I might actually just pop it down because the flowers are running down. So I think I'll just pop it this way. Chop the end off like that. Turn this over. Stick the little random bit there. Oops. a little bit level okay let's have another piece on the back so we'll go down this way again. maybe I'll we'll just pop it onto here Perfect. Let's glue back. Oopsie daisy. Okay, so now oh see I keep banging the camera. Sorry. Right now in here I've got some little bits and pieces. Let's see what we've got. Sorry guys, my camera just went off. So there we go, let's start again. Where were we? So I was just sticking on bits and pieces. Let's get rid of these. 
will make this a slightly darker one here. There we go. Okay. Let's air this little bit up here. Okay, so we can put some pieces off. So you can use any old bits of scrap fabric that you've got. So I'm just going to use little tiny bits. Let's have a little bit of shiny blingy bit. If you want to sew these on, do it before you put the pockets and stuff on. If you want to sew bits at the top because then you won't see the sew marks. Obviously you can't sew it once your pockets are on there. Um, but you can before um, you sew them on. Or you don't have to sew it, you can just stick them on. So if you're happier with sticking and not sewing, please just stick them on. Okay, bits of random. Random little fabric bits, there we go. Okay, I think I might actually pop this on here. What I am going to do, I think that's a bit too bright for me, I'm going to tone it down a little bit. I think, let's just go over it. That's a bit better. That's it. actually gesso over this as well would make it look quite nice so that's muted it down a little bit stick these little random bits down there we go perfect Oops. Is my glue stick gone Okay, so I'm mm, not sure whether I like that one. Let's get these little bits out of the way. What apps do we have? Oh, that's quite pretty. Should we have that maybe there? Oh, we've got a bit of pink. No, a bit like that one. Where is the other little bits that I was using? There we go. I don't know what I've done with it now. So messy sometimes. Just so messy. I did have some um, cheesecloth here somewhere that I was using. But I don't know what I've done with it. Never mind. Put that over there. Found it. That's better. Okay. So let's use a little bit of this. using this cheesecloth. I hadn't used it before and I bought a nice big bundle of it um, and it's absolutely wonderful. I absolutely love it. So let's just put a random piece here. Again you can use um, Fabri-Tac or any, any glue that you like to use. I'm just using the glue gun because it's quick and easy and I'm getting to the end of my, uh, it's not Fabri-Tac I'm using, I'm using three in one. But it's coming to the end and it takes ages for me to get it out of the, the bottle. So it's easier to show me using um, the glue gun because you're going to get as frustrated as me trying to 
waiting for me to get the glue out. So I'll just stick some random bits here and there, get all your little bits and pieces out, all your little um, bits of fabric. Let's do the back. What shall we do on the back? Let's have a look. Let's put it there. So we might put that down the side. There's bits everywhere. My scissors amongst all my stuff. Yeah, we can see. It just makes it look just little bits and pieces everywhere. Okay, let's have another. Gosh, let's use a bit of this. A little bit of this. What else have we got? A little bit of knitting. Randomly cutting it. Oops, need that piece. Okay, let's just add it here. Strings of glue gun. What I might actually do is just add a bit of the book pages. Let's ink it up. Sorry, I'm just covered in glue gun now. Stuck to my fingers. Cameras in view because I did move it. Stopped and started, so little random bits here and there. Let's take a little bit of this on. So, what I'm going to do is my little flowers. These are my little flowers that I made in the last one. I'll just pop. little one of these on I think. There we go. Just add little bits wherever you want to. Little randoms. There we go. I think maybe we'll have a couple of little flowers over here in the corner. What should we have? Oops. Oops, that way. Okay, let's put this one on. This is one that I made from the seam binding, not the seam binding, the um, sorry silk. So there we are. Perfect. I still need to darken this up just a little bit. So you could just keep going and going and going and adding little bits and pieces to them all. But there we go. That is 
pretty much finished now. Um, you can put something to wrap around it. Um, this is just a little bit of sari silk. Here, look, as the closure. Or you can just leave it. It looks quite nice, doesn't it? Let's see. So you can just hang that off there. Or like I did on this one. I used the tie. I just attached a piece of material there and then onto the bottom and then you just close it up like that so you can just tie it closed. Which I think looks really pretty. And these are quite nice actually if you wanted to make them um, you could make them wedding-y sort of for a wedding and put money in it. Um, so if you're going to a wedding you could put money in them which I am actually this year um, in June. So I could do that, couldn't I? So you could just pop some money in there. Or little gift vouchers or store cards or something like that inside. And make it look pretty. You could make some little white flowers. Um, and some little bits of bling on it. You could put some crystals on it. So there we go guys. That's the um, little fold out envelope. So I hope you liked it. I hope you understood what I did. Sorry for the camera going off. Um, so I hope you like that. So it's very, very easy. Um, just some book pages, um, a piece of tea stain paper, um, any fabric or paper that you want to decorate. And that's it. Quick and easy. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Alright, take care. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.